What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com, hanging out with one of our very first friends that we ever had, Papa Stash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's speed it up a little bit. It's a very simple pattern, but it's kind of cool, right? It's kind of that old school Western. There's a lot of newer bands that kind of have that Irish feel, too. So it's a great strum pattern for that kind of music as well. All it is, is a very basic pattern. So let's zoom in and break it down. All right, so let's break down that strum pattern. It's a really easy one, but very effective. So what we're doing is we're basically coming in on the low part of the chord. We do one on the lower strings and then a, a strum across all of the strings. Down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Right? Or now you can see my arm moving. But a lot of the speed and the feel comes from moving your wrist too, right? So it's not just like this, going back and forth with your arm. You want to get the wrist in there. So when I want to hit the whole chord, basically my arm's coming in to help get across the strings, but my wrist is doing a majority of the work. Now on that particular progression, I'm just going back and forth between E minor and A minor. And then those two ending chords was I just took a C chord, and then I kept the C shape, and I moved it up to the D. Very cool sounding chord, right? Exact same strings, exact same everything. You're still not hitting the low E. Play it just like a C chord, move it up a whole step. Real open, purdy sounding chord. All right, so we got... So what I've done is I've started with four times through the pattern on the E minor chord. Then I go two on the A minor, two on the E minor, and then I go one on each of the C and the D. Okay, so we got. Now that's slow. Now up to speed it would be something like this. And it's basically just a really cool way to get the strumming going quicker. You get a little bit more aggressive in your strumming. You don't have to worry so much about muting or anything. It's just kind of a nice free for all strum pattern where you really can get into it, really kind of get dynamic with how you're hitting the strings. You can accent different strum parts of the strum pattern. You know, really accentuate that second downstroke. Keeping it nice and simple, nice and mellow as far as the pattern difficulty, and we're really allowing you to be expressive with this one. So go for it. <laughs> 